few times I've been extremely disappointed in my life. The, the last season of, of the Roseanne show was a huge disappointment for me. Uh, Arizona Cardinals in their uh, 2017 season was a nightmare for me, honestly. And, and Matt's turkey calling this season so far is it's just, you know, we've all seen it with some of our favorite singers whenever they they have their moment and they're they're having hits and they're at the top of their game and and then all of a sudden they put out an album that just sucks, you know. And you realize they just don't have it anymore. And I kinda think that's where Matt is. I feel like that's where Matt is in, in his career right now. It's, just doesn't have it anymore. There's there's younger, newer talent coming up, and and that's what the turkeys like. Are, are some of these new, more exciting turkey callers? You don't want to hear, you know, any of these old guys. You know, that's what that's who their parents gobbled to. They want to hear the newer, more exciting turkey callers out there. It's, it's kind of sad, really, to see it happen. I mean, look at him. He's, he's pathetic. But he did a great job. That was a good job, man. Did good. Yeah, I heard that. Good. All jokes aside, opening day here in Oklahoma is going to be a tough one. It's cold, it's snowing, and the turkeys, they're just not gobbling. They don't ever see this kind of weather, especially this time of year. On top of that, we're literally using an antique gun, an old double barrel of fever. It's my granddaddy's gun. He told me it's never missed. <laughs> With my track record, the pressure is definitely on. Fortunately, Blake is shooting first. I got the decoy set. Had a turkey gobble at us right over the hill, probably 100 yards, so. Everybody's set, we're gonna see what happens. Opening day in Oklahoma. Weather's bad, but we're still in the game.
this one on the back, the left. It's just a dumb yes. barrel 12. The stock is cracked and it kicks like hell. It wouldn't mean what it means. To Matt's me granddaddy's no guns, first turkey. Wow. Hey, this gun does a pretty good job. <laughs> Saved our first day. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. That's really cool using that gun, man. How, what year you think it is? Man, I don't know. He was born in 1903, so it's probably like 40s, I would guess, 30s maybe. I wasn't sure if it was gonna even stay together when you shot. <laughs> My shoulder's not together. Hey, they didn't mess around back then. They, when they shot, they wanted stuff bent yeah. and your shoulder. <laughs> you no know them fancy turkey chokes, not a three inch shell, regular two and a half inch shell, or two and three quarter, I mean. He didn't, I, he's Rio's or Marion's? I think that's a Marion's hen. He thought he was getting a little different action. Oh, a little exotic, mm -hmm. a little exotic hen action. Got us one. Opening day, how many years? Sprinkling, did we figure it was 12? 12 here in Oklahoma. And we're gonna have turkey wraps tonight. Turkey wraps, boy. Hey, why are you already taking over the gun? Is your turn? No, it doesn't have to be my turn. You just don't want me touching the gun anymore? You had enough time with it. I like that gun. Just like that, our first day was over. It was time to get out of the elements and carry out turkey camp tradition. Frying up morels and turkey pop. Mushrooms, granddaddy's mushrooms. The next day, man, it was even cold. Our expectations were low because of the weather. So we decided to head to a place that we've been before one of those old faithful spots. You know, Blake was so confident, he packed his camera, decided to film it too.
Granddaddy's gun just broke my arm. <laughs> I'm gonna hit hang him on my living room wall. Cause I got him with a mouth call. It's cold, but that's my guide right there, buddy. He said, let's go to the field. It's cold, it's nasty. We got more clothes on than you would if you were deer hunting. We got her done. Well, it really wasn't the turkey we set up on. Cause I think the turkey we set up on seen me put the decoys out. I kind of rushed and put the microphone under the jake and uh, I don't think he liked it, but man, what a day. Cold, but the cool thing is, talked about it a couple weeks ago, shooting a couple turkeys with my grandpa's old double barrel and got it done. I'm gonna clean it up, put it away, and that'll be Madison's gun someday for her little boy, but we're not gonna rush that at all. Woo, Oklahoma. Hotter than dog crap, just like usual. You know, my grandpa always told me. I can't wait to hear this. Never put your microphone <laughs> underneath <laughs> the Jake B. Coy. I mean, he if he told me once, he told me a thousand times. He'd be disappointed in you. Mm -hmm. Your granddad would probably hunt his gun back if he knew you did My that. granddad would tell me not to go. Well, no, I'll tell you what. We're not near as tough as our grandparents are, I promise you. It's worth a bunch of money, but it damn sure ain't for sale. Turkey hunting is unique. There are so many ways to be successful. One of my favorite ways to hunt turkeys is running and gunning. I mean, making a turkey gobble and trying to figure out where to get and telling him what he wants to hear. So that's exactly how we're going about it this morning. You know, Blake has a new piece of property that we've never stepped foot on. We're starting the morning at the truck, we're listening, trying to hear some turkeys gobble, and we're walking in blind. No scouting, two tags in our pocket left to fill. This could definitely be a challenge. That turkey hit our crow call way off. I think they're up on top of this hill. I don't know if there's one, two, I can't tell. Must not have been able to hear that mouth open. Well, if he doesn't want the mouth call, he's getting asleep.
shoot him? You want me to shoot him? Just about waited too long on that one. Woo! I got one! And guess where we're at? Where I've been wanting to come all week. New place, first time we've ever really hunted it. So what's the deal with that decoy, his head's up? Well, he's trying to show that subdominant position. We don't even have a name for him yet, but the good news is he's got three different heads. Tomorrow we'll use ah. the headless Jake. We'll put another head on him tomorrow and see what happens. Okay but he's kind of quarter strut showing, bowing up a little bit, but not enough. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what this, the smaller turkey. They, they look like, I couldn't tell which one was which, except the one kept wiggling his head. I couldn't see a whole lot. Mm -hmm. He was doing that exact same. He was doing pose. this right here? Not with his head up, but with his half of his back. A lot of times when, they, when they're trying, they'll stick that head up just to, I guess, look bigger or something. I don't know. That's pretty though, isn't it? Yeah. Almost could just put him in your living room and call it a mount. You know anybody that can get me one? Uh, Johnny Morris? Yeah. About 120 bucks should take care of you. <laughs> the first morning was pretty successful. Got him! <laughs> Woo! Blake had some luck real early in the morning, and now we've got to see the property just a little bit better. Day two, we have the same plan. But now we have a little knowledge the way the property lays. So we start listening a little while. If we hear some gobbling going on, we're going to take a guess of which way that turkey's going to go and try to get the right ground on him. Man, I, we know we heard a turkey up this draw this morning. We're in, like I said, new area. Used that upright head on Blake's last night. I'm going to go with that tucked head. I'm going to give it a try. Ain't many hiding spots here.
ready. It's not the gun's fault. It's not the ammo's fault. It's my fault. But hey. You know, Grandpa used to tell me, Matt. Grandpa used to tell me. You wanna, you wanna go turkey hunt and take the 12 gauge. what do he bring? The 20 gauge. You know, Grandpa's side by side wasn't the 20 gauge or the 12 gauge, because he knew that. I think he would have probably whooped his butt, but when he did that, that you know, this is a prototype, that noise. I was waiting for the old head to go. <laughs> Avian X will be getting a bill from me. For filming? Mm-hmm. What do you get, about two million a day? When I save the day like I just did? This <laughs> may be a little more, buddy. <laughs> hey, uh, Congratulations, uh, buddy. Take a check. <laughs> now that I've killed mine, it's time to start hiking, getting on our feet. Believe it or not, not every turkey you call to wants to read the script. <laughs> Early season gobblers often don't want to leave their hens. So they'll work a little bit, they'll gobble back and forth, they'll get you excited. But when push comes to shove, they're heading off with the real thing. So a little bit of patience, a few setups here and there, eventually something's going to happen. Sounded like it was straight out in front of you over that hill. Mess with our decoy. I mean, we have had rain, we had snow and sleet, hail, high winds, and then yesterday was the day I thought would be the best morning of all. It's terrible. And now today, though, today's 
Today is a good day. God, this place is badass. I'm liking this place so far. That son of a gun got here behind us. Yeah. And then he, I yelped and he came around. Man, he had every reason to come straight through there. Yeah. Huh? So glad he didn't. Dang. Well, the good news is there were some other turkeys that were fixing to show up somewhere. Would you say this, this gobbler's multi-personality? Man, I mean, he probably, right before I shot him, felt like the, the strongest, most studliest turkey of all time. Glad you didn't miss. I mean, might need some lessons. 12 gauge is where it's at, huh? I don't, know, I don't think that helps you much either. <laughs> Isn't it crazy though how these Rios, these Rios have the white and we're just... And we can turn around and look at your place. Yeah, we're week. probably six or seven miles from my other spot and those turkeys are, I mean, they don't even look anything alike. <sighs> I don't want to wait another year to do this again. Yeah, because you're officially Yep. Tagged out. Closed out. This new farm is definitely proving to be a honey hole. One of the cool things is the county line divides the farm. While Blake's turkey was coming in, we heard a few more gobbling. So that gave us a plan to set up for the next morning where we thought they were roosting. Plan was definitely successful, but it wasn't a mature long beard. <laughs> After a little walking, some listening, and some good planning, we're back on another goblin turkey. It's time to redeem myself and check my marksmanship. Blake said if I miss again, it could be the end of our 12 year tradition.
<laughs> what a way to end Oklahoma, baby. Holy crap. That's pretty cool. That's a good hunt. That was a ventriloquist. This is, I don't want to say easy, it's easily, but there's no question this is the best year we've had. Yeah. I we mean, both have. you're putting your food plot in. I mean, turkeys love this dirt in the middle of the brush. This is beautiful, by the way. I can't believe he knocked the head off the new decoy and was looking at it. Can you imagine what it went through his head right before those sixes? He just probably thought, man, that's not what I meant to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, what's wrong with you? Our pet's heads are falling off! <laughs> <laughs> See how good these are, people? He was leaving, and then he saw this. I think the but people can feed their families if they'll buy one of these things, man. I'm trying to sell these for you. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. Times are tough, people. You got a family, mom, dad. You got kids, you gotta feed them. Get the decoy! What are you waiting for, man? Even Matt could shoot one of these things if you have one of the decoys. Thank you guys, thank you, Sportsmen of America. Thank you guys. Don't come back unless you're invited.